Dear students, in this module, I'll be introducing you to Uniprot and Swissprot. So this is the first database that we'll study regarding the proteins. Every day, scientists all around the world are sequencing proteins and outputting the sequence information to online tools and databases. Uniprot is the most common and famous destination for such sequences. For the moment, there may be over a million sequences in Uniprot. And Swissprot is just a manually verified and annotated version of Uniprot. So this is the background to Uniprot and Swissprot. And now I'll go into the details as to how these sequences are obtained and reported in Uniprot. And then we'll briefly look at the Uniprot portal. So once you get a protein, you want to sequence it. And there are two ways to sequence the protein. The first one is the admin degradation. And the second one is the mass spectrometry. We'll be looking at the details for each one of these techniques later. But for now, it is enough for you to understand that these two techniques can be used to sequence any protein that you may have in your sample. So once the protein is sequenced and the sequence of amino acid is obtained, then you want to output the sequence into a database. This will help you to refer to the sequence later, as well as if you make this database public, other people can also look at the sequence and use it in their studies. So towards that, Uniprot and Swissprot are commonly uh, and publicly available databases and they are of course free of cost. You can access them anytime and search for sequences of your choice. So to look at the Uniprot and Swissprot databases, so the first thing is that the EBI or the European Bioinformatics Institute here, it's a major bioinformatics institute in the world and it provides for a lot of databases and software that you will use during your bioinformatics course. So you can simply input the name of any gene, protein or chemical here and press the search and it will search that information for you. Also, if you go to Uniprot, then this is what you will see on its web page. So here you can select this drop down list box and select the specific type of molecule that you are interested in. Or simply you can input your query ID here and search. Overall, there are several databases that are available and these include proteomes for different organisms as well. So if you are interested in Drosophila proteome, then you can simply go here and select the proteins that are output from this search. On the left side, if you look, there is the Swissprot and Tremble. So Swissprot is containing over half a million protein sequences at the moment while Tremble has many more sequences. So this is the manually verified set of sequences, while this is the automatically verified protein sequence that you can look at. To get into the specific information that is available on these portals, you may remember that Uniprot provides the accession number of the proteins unique identifier to search for these proteins and then you have the amino acid sequence that is also provided within the database alongside the molecular mass as well as observed and predicted modifications so these modifications are the post translational modification that may be existing on that sequence and the predictions of such modifications as well so in conclusion the protein sequences that are obtained after sequencing from several species are stored in Uniprot. So if your study has got anything to do with protein sequences, Uniprot will be very useful for you. And if you want to look at verified and human annotated information, then you may want to go the way of Swissprot. And this is how 
you can utilize both of these sources, precious sources of protein sequence and accession numbers.